What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Vintage Cube up in this piece. And we are going to, well, you know, draft the, the format. Yeah, I can't imagine when the Vintage Cube is up ever committing my time to a Calavis draft over a Vintage Cube draft. Like, Calavis is just another set. Just another standard level basic set. Well, Jace the Mind Sculptor seems pretty good. Yeah, I also think it's really weird that they just didn't put like all the cards in the set. Like, it's really strange to me. Like, especially if you're trying to emulate Pioneer or Modern at some point, like just put all the cards in. If you don't want a card in a set like Smuggler's Sculptor, just ban it. It's not a big deal. But at least like when Modern or Pioneer are available, you get to play these cards. I'm gonna take Jace the Mind Sculptor. Winter Orb. Ooh, through the breach. Oh, I like it through the breach. I also like Teferi. Also, Coercive Portal. I wonder if Coercive Portal is just a better Teferi. I think it's still Through the Breach. Through the Breach is just like Super Combo Man. Super Combo Man! Yes, that is correct. Well, that's not the Emrakul we're looking for, but this is the land we're looking for. I'll take a Steam Vents. Ideally, this Jace comes back, but then in, a, in real life, it's definitely not. Coalition Relic is sweet. So is Pestermite. Man. Are we just playing all the blue-red Cheons? There's no blue-red Cheons, is there? Also, Coalition Relic's great. I think it's either Pestermite or Coalition Relic. I'm losing to the Sleep Demons? Does Mike be ever sleepwalk carry a Christmas tree on the can? Duh, he doesn't, no. Antibody, what are you saying right now? What is going on? Splinter Twin was in pack one. I'm going to take this. We can still get Kiki Jiki and it might even come back. So it's like... um, I think we're going Demir Signet instead of Jace. This card's actually pretty decent in this format. Like, if they go Time Walk or Ancestral, then you get to go Time Walk or Ancestral. <laughs> Oh my god, this is just like the same deck we just drafted. I'm sorry, guys. I'm definitely taking Duretti. It's definitely better than Grimlava Mancer. It could take Tropical Island, but we already have Demir Signet, so. Wandering Fumarole. Interesting. Yeah, I'm definitely taking that.
A splinter will wheel, that'd be great. Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, what up, Grandma? Was there a flooded strand in that pack that I missed? Is that what you're referring to? Grandma! Grandma, you so silly. You don't even play magic. Did you get those cookies I baked? I did not. God, they must have got lost in the mail. Uh, oh my god. What? Jeez. No, all you gotta do is count the cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have seven, eight over here. So. Wow. <laughs> Fudge. And this time, instead of Tinker, we have Through the Breach. So it's basically the same deck. Sleep Demon's losing. Dude, Antibody, go get some sleep, buddy. Yeah, this deck already is good. We've got Jace through the breach, Splinter from Pestermite, Dire Fleet is fine, Demir Signet, two fixing lands. I feel like we're on the right track. Could actually be Nahiri. Not only does it give it, give us Resto for another combo with Kiki, but it also gives us another through the breach out. Sun Titan. Yeah, let's take Sun Titan. Sure. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but. Oh, Spiral Canal? For sure. That's a good deal. Wow. Three on color lands. Mm. I don't care about any of these. Oh boy. Uh, Pyroclasm. Sure. Oh, it's a Grim Love Mancer. Nothing super exciting here. I do like Venser. Dismember is fine. Balance is all right. I think it's probably just Venser here. Actually, miscalculation. I do like miscalculation a lot. You're gonna get a lot of people with some miscalcs, and it's pretty cheap. Yeah, we'll take miscalculation actually. I want cheaper things to do. Oh, Tundra is nice if we are playing Nahiri. We can also take Thoughtseize or Vampiric Tutor, which is fine, but I mean, it's either Nahiri or Duretti. I'm going to take the Tundra. Plus, if we get like a Sacred Mesa, Arid Mesa. That was a Sacred Foundry and Arid Mesa. Why do your friends keep saying my cookies are sus? 
Grandma, I don't even know. Can't even tell you. Sheldock? Polluted Delta? Azorius Signet? Oh, and Kiki Jiki? Hmm. Well, I think it's got to be Kiki Jiki. It's very on brand here. We're just hoping we hit, like, Deceiver Exarch or uh, Zealous Conscripts as well. Oh, uh, there are no duplicates in the draft portion, no. Yeah, that's the whole point of the queue. It's just all one ofs. Well, there is that Arab Mesa that we were talking about. Now we can get Tundra and Steam Vents, which is pretty nice. Don't care about Runaway Steamkin. Elspeth is pretty decent. Yeah, we're just getting this because it's also good with Sun Titan. You can probably take Duretti out. And Demir Signet is uh, still playable. What up, HUD? <laughs> uh, Sacred Foundry is nice. Ponder is good. I like Ponder. Especially if we're searching for things. Seagate Stormcaller doesn't seem great here. It might just be Sacred Foundry, actually. Hmm. I think Sacred Foundry is probably better, especially because we have double white here, and I do want to play. What's his name? God, Theming Skydiver goes so late, and it's just so comical because it's very good against a lot of decks in this format. Yeah, we're definitely taking Skydiver there. Um, I don't hate Wall of Omens. Chain Lightning is also fine. This card, I don't even know why it's in the cube. It's a very interesting pick. Uh, hmm. I think it's Wall of Omens. Like, being able to get through our deck faster along with having another card that we can get back with Sun Titan is good. There's Resto, and we have Kiki. Yeah, we're definitely taking Resto. Just another combo. Now all we need is Deceiver. We have Splintersman, Kiki, Pestermite, and Deceiver. All we need is Deceiver. Pretty shocked Venser came back. <laughs> That's actually surprising. Definitely taking it now. And glad we took the uh, miscalc over it. Lots of expensive things. <laughs> Oust. Angrished, I guess, is fine. Just can splash it off the mere signet if we if we hit another black source. I don't think we want another four drop in the form of P and Kieran Lar here.
Pluto Delta is nice. Wow, we can get uh, Steam Vents and Tundra with that guy. That's pretty sweet. Our mana base is looking great so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Seven, seven lands. Seven mana. Look at all my manas. I'm I'm actually just talking through the picks, yeah. I'm actually just uh I mean sometimes there's definitely times where I ask chat what to pick and then I wait and I'm like, oh let me get some opinions here, but usually I'm just uh you know, filling the silence and discussing my thought process. I have no idea what J Bro's doing. Taking some time off, it seems like. Oh wow, Flame Slash came back. That's actually pretty sweet. Uh, Soulfire Grandmaster is fine if we open like Time Walk or Ancestral or something, but I'm not going to guarantee that. And for one mana, this is a pretty solid removal spell. Wow, Light. Oh, Shatter Skull Smashing seems great. Um, yeah, that's just a free spell. And Thunder Maul can win games, sure. Okay, so basically, like, 19 red cards just came back. Oh, dang it. I want this Ulamog for Through the Breach, but also Mana Crypt, so... You know, that's cool. I mean, we're definitely taking Mana Crypt, so... You know. I was just commenting on you commenting about your picks. Dang. So meta. Ooh, Celestial Colonnade. Force of Will is also pretty decent. We don't have a ton of blue cards yet, though, so... I think we're just going to go with the Colonnade and hope that we can get enough playables. I want to put Thunder Maul on the deck. I don't think it's Narset. I also don't think Force is that good. We have one, two, three, four, we have five blue cards. I mean, like, unless we're just hard casting it, I don't think that's really where we want to be. I think I'd much rather have a a colonnade okay fallen shadow is pretty decent especially with skydiver and pester might that's interesting antibody with the gifted sub thank you buddy i appreciate it also hollowed fountain we can just have our mana base be bananas day is also pretty good also fire ice is pretty good too hmm. god are you passing a fallen shinobi what would kerwit think I mean, we already have a Tundra, so I think we can pass on the Hall of Fountain. I think it's between these two. I don't think we have anywhere. Like, this is our only fixing for Fallen Shinobi, along with maybe a, a Swamp if we played Pluto Delta. I think you can just get him with the, with the stupid days. Oh, I love Council's Judgment. Jeez. And I think our mana base can actually support it here. Yeah, that seems good. There's an Ulamog. It's not great to through the breach that guy, so we're just taking Dak. Dak is super insane. I mean, the, you want to through the breach the Annihilator ones, not the mill 20 cards, and that's it. Oh, there's a Kozilek, though. Oof. Also a Mana Leak and a Volcanic Island, though. Jeez. Like, I could just take through the breach out. I don't even know if it's that great if you only have Kozilek, you know? I don't think we're playing Kozilek. I think I just want the Mana Leak, to be honest. Feels weird. Maybe Kozilek tables? Unlikely, but... Stranger things have happened. Like a Blightsteel Colossus. Or an Oko. Do we have any green? No. That's a late Oko, dude. Also, Muldrifter and Time Warps are super sweet as well. <sighs> I 
you can beat mill by milling them faster. Touche. Hmm. I don't think it's blight steel. I think it's definitely Moldrifter. Three mana Teferi. Oh, Zealous Conscripts. It's got to be Conscripts. We have Splinter Twin and Kiki Jiki. Wow, I really wanted that Teferi too. That's unfortunate. Ulamog came back. Okie dokie. That's really cool because I actually forgot we had Nahiri, which is great with Ulamog. Actually, Ashen Rider. So through the Breach, you sacrifice it, right? Yeah, I'll just take Ashen Rider. I'll take Disenchant. If it was a Supreme Draft, how did you wheel time walk? Because you only look at each pack once. I'm not sure I follow. I've ever told you the time I went 2-4 in the limited rounds of Nationals. I don't think so. Both wins were buys. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's think Concealed Courtyard just in case we want to splash something like they're ready or Anguished. Makes it a little easier. Wish Kozilek came back. But alas, he did not. Geist of Saint Draft. You could do a thing if, at some point. <gasps> Kozilek did come back? Oh my god. Oh, an Ember of Shieldbreaker is not bad. Oh my god. That's great. That makes Through the Breach and Nihiri so much better. Plus we have Days, Miscalc, and Mana League. This guy's probably a two. Man, that's great. Our mana base is also pretty sweet. Oh, obviously that stays. Yeah, you can go over here. Probably take Thunder Mile out here. Sort by. Okay, so blue is obviously one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. White, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, seven, and then one. Blue Delta gets steam events. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, nine, seven. Actually seems good. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, all right. All right, let's do it. I'm mean, gonna I have Dak Faden, Sun Titan. Dak Faden, Sun Titan, Pestermite, Sun Titan, Dire Fleet, Daredevil. Oh, oh god. Shire Skull Smashing. Almost forgot. Everybody do the Scarn. Is Sun Titan too cute here? It's just better as, like, a land. 
Uh, it's 15 lands and a Shatter Skull Smashing and a Mana Crypt. But I am tempted to add one more land. Maybe take out Sun Titan. It does get back Pestermite, but is that good enough? I guess we can try it with that. That seems fine. Uh, we have no way to splash anguish on making just the Demir Signet, and I don't think that's very good. Plus, we already have Council's Judgment in the deck, so. I will play first. Um, I'll keep it, sure. Uh, I don't think we need Shieldbreaker because we do have Thieving, uh, Skydiver Guy, and Dak Faden. I don't think we need a, a way to deal with early artifacts. When we have like multiple things that steal their artifacts, we also have Nahiri that gives their artifacts. Like we have a lot of artifact removal in the main deck. Put both cards on top. It's fascinating. Mox Diamond, Discard Island, sure. Wow. What if we could just resolve Dak Fade and steal this? They, they saw the Dak Fade, and that's super interesting to play Mox Diamond there. Sure. I guess it's less risky now. I mean, we're just playing this now. <laughs> Seems fine. It's a lot of artifacts. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana next turn. Sure. <laughs> I mean, we're just like hoping they don't have something for. Seven or eight mana, I guess. Don't care much about that. Let's discard Sacred Foundry. Draw Flame Slash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's get a basic plan. So let's just cast everything we want. Well, that is a combo that cannot be dealt with by Glowland or Archmage, and they have two cards, and we have a mana leak. Seems okay. Assuming this is our turn to, like, dodge a big fat idiot. No, oh, I don't think it is. Okay.
Do we want to discard? That's a good question. Right now we have Mana Lake and Pestermite up. Which is pretty good. Oh! Oh, that's real good. That's safe. Okay. So I'm pretty sure we win next turn. We pester might. Yeah, no blocks. Yeah, might as well tap Power Stone, it's two mana. The problem is they didn't do anything with all their mana. Hmm. Well, they also have this to counter our counters. Never mind. Fascinating. Okay. Okay. Seems good. All right. Now we're bringing in Emberest, Shieldbreaker, and Disenchant. Sort by. We take out Flame Slash, probably. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually Flame Slash is still pretty good. It hits both uh like Thrag Tusk, it hits Vendelian Click. I think I got Wall of Omens. Hmm. Let's keep this, because it is a turn two deck. And we can steal that. Well, we don't have an untapped blue, so we can't play Mana Leak. That's fascinating. Shatter Skull, the Hammer. Yes. Another three. God, I really just... I hope you have Daze. You try to Daze me. Well, that's satisfying. Okay. Okay. You got it. I mean, still having Dak on board, being able to discard multiple cards that are not going to do much here. Now I have the Scarn song stuck in my head. And that's how you do the Scarn. Mox Diamond 2. Hmm. So we can go Dire Fleet Daredevil repeal your Mox Diamond? That seems pretty juicy. Let's 
she gets Stormcaller. Oh, they're just actually casting it as like a just a just a dude? Oh boy. Well, get rid of a land and an Ulamog for now. Shuffle it up. So we can keep up these two. No, we can't. <laughs> oh, we don't have to pay blue for this, right? So this is actually perfect. We get to keep up Mana League and we get to repeal this. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> that was a good turn. And now we get to keep up Mana League? Oh, boy. Loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -boo. Okay. Tails? Nice. Win the flip. Do the thing that you were born to do. So we know Blair has Mox Time and one other card. Uh, that seems good. I'm going to give them another turn because we get to keep Dak if we do that. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Hmm. All right, let's go to planes. Probably pester mite. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Hmm. I guess we're playing Nahiri this turn. You felt embarrassed for Michael when he did the Skarn? That's insane. You sound like a monster. Uh, I'm actually not going to discard anything. I think our hand is pretty good right now. and I think we're pretty far ahead right now. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm just countering this, right? Wow. Uh, no, I guess not. So your hand is Mox Diamond Island. Okay. Well, that is a thing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Threat level midnight. Tails again? Dang. Well, oh. Hmm. Hmm. So. So we can go block, blink, discard a card. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. Yeah, we're just gonna pass, keep up resto. The old block and blink. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, both of Nahiri, huh? Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we could have also activated Celestial Colonnade and blocked here and blocked here, so it doesn't really matter, but 
think that went pretty well. Why not discard Ulma? Because we're literally going to put it into play with Nahiri next turn. Come on, let's go. Oh, no, you're actually right. But, oh, yeah, you're right. It's not put a card into play. Yeah, you actually searched something up. Yeah, we could have searched up Kozilek, which we still would have been fine. But, yeah, actually, you're correct. That's a good point. I will keep this. Was Jan's kid fathered by Hunter? <laughs> Jesus. Wow. I mean, because we also have Through the Breach, so I'm like getting confused, like, which creature is coming out of where? Is it the hand? Is it the deck? No, Hunter's like season three, and Pregnancy is like season five or six. I mean, candy corn. I'm not going to take three here. It's pretty easy, easily teller after if I do that. Next turn, we can, if we do have to counter something, we can bounce the island and replay it, keep a miscalc. So. Hmm. Land. Nice. Also got no shame dropping a mole drifter for three here. Oh, they're not going to do anything. And that's how you do the scarn. You tie that yarn. <laughs> me and me and uh, Katie actually just watched that episode like two days ago. Oh, they took three. Oh God. And they're putting this guy somewhere. Oh geez, what is happening? Kevin, are you saying Sea World or See the World? What what a turn that was. That was very fascinating. If I had one more land, I would definitely play back Faden and try to steal this, but in the situation we're in, I think it's probably just better to keep a miscalc. If we hit a land, we can if we hit a blue land, we can go. We can dackles into pretty good it's pretty clear we have a counter spell now it's pretty clear they do too wow seriously wow couldn't have one less mana, huh? 
Okie dokie. Who's Bob Vance? You got a lot to learn about this town, sweetheart. Oh. Well, now I feel a little better. Unless they have spell fears. Or their own days. They didn't. So now they just look stupid. <laughs> Man, it's too bad that wasn't a through the breach. You know what I mean? So they have two cards, we have five cards. Oh, here we go. I guess we're just dead now. I guess time spirals. Oh, just a hard cast Ulamog. That's pretty wild. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. What did they exile? Two white sources? This is 15 damage. That seems correct. Like, we can take 10. They're in top deck mode, right? So, like, they just die. Oh, and we get to exile their whole freaking library. So, they go to 2, which means Muldrifter and Zealous Conscripts are lethal, so they can't really attack with Ulamog. Unless they want to put me to 4 cards. But I don't think they have... Oh, wow. That was fantastic. <laughs> Steal your Ulamog. Okie dokie. So. I don't think we saw any creatures. I'm definitely bringing in Shield Breaker. I think that's probably fine, actually. I mean, Disenchant's an option, but we still have Thieving Skydiver and Dak Faden and Embreath Shieldbreaker now, so it's like we're not. And Council's Judgment, so like we're not. And like three counter spells, so we're not completely uh, helpless, and I don't want to bring in too many cards that are super narrow, that don't give us a lot of versatility. Yeah, this is a keeper. Wow. This sounds great. Mana Crypt? Hmm. Yeah, all right. I want peach pie. I want pie. I want peach pie. A nice. I want a nice cobbler. That's pretty good, but we're not going to play that now. And I'm just going to sit on Mana Leak, Thieving Skydiver. Okay. Favorite character from the office? It might be Daryl. I 
that's how you do the Skarn. I think my least favorite character might actually be Kelly. And it's not because I don't love Mindy Kaling. I just think the character herself is just not great. Oh, MTG Lexicon. Thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. I don't want to crack this in case they do some shenanigans in response. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, I still don't need to do that. We're just going to pass here. What up, y'all? Oh, no, Gabe's hilarious when he's like, Shut up about the sun! Shut up about the sun! But yeah, this is fine, I guess. It's kind of obnoxious, right? See, now we can crack this. Let's get to Tundra. I almost like Daredevil casting Probe. Hmm. Could also just play Smashing, Untapped, Keep Up Venser. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep up Benzer here. I think we're just kind of slowly biding our time until we can get uh, through the breach. Through the breach moving. <laughs> Demir Signetto. Still got Venser. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and there's 7 mana next turn. 6 mana still, I guess. Yeah, but see, like, not being able to stand the characters, like, I, I know Ryan was meant to be a douche. You know, Charles Minor was meant to be, like, this hard character. But, like, that doesn't make me dislike them because that's just their character. Like, that's just, that's, like, they're meant to be that character, you know? So. God, the heat keeps coming on. And, like, I have this window open to try to, like, Get some cool air in here, but we're definitely going to play that. Uh, you may cast it this turn. So I can go like Dire Fleet, play this for free, right? I like that. Show until brain freeze and exhume. Oh, that's not that's not impressive at all. Jeez. Uh, workshop. I don't know if this card is one of the ones that sh that keeps it up. Brain or show. Okay. We also have okay. It is. We also have two Eldrazi, so brain freeze is not that great against us. And we also just hit a Mana Crypt. One, two, three, four. So I'm actually pretty sure we can Jace here and not really care. Huh. Exhum and Show and Tell both do nothing. They're friggin' dead in their hand. I want to play this though because I do want to keep colored mana up. Nope. Uh, this 
this plus chase. Or we can just look at their top card. Hmm, that's not bad. Yeah, let's lock them out. Their hand sucks right now. They could literally brain freeze themselves. Um, doesn't really do anything. Oh, they can actually have that weird enough. Yeah, me and Katie just watched the, the Will Ferrell episodes and she hated D'Angelo Vickers. You're targeting me for five? Sure. This is not gonna this is not gonna go as well as you may like. Oh, they targeted themselves. And me. Okay. Oh, nope. Nope. There it is. <laughs> and all for nothing. Sounds good. Two Eldrazi in the deck. Love it. People disappear in the Finger Lakes all the time. Okay, so the hood workshop. So we know four of their three of their four cards. Collective brutality. They discarded island and show and tell, so they're doing all three modes. Sure. Through the breach is leaving. I one, two, three, four, five, six. So we already have one, two, three, four, five, six. We already have nine mana. So through the breach actually doesn't do much. Oh, we just win the game. What would we have drawn? That would have been for the turn. Drawn those three. Okay. Well, our deck has been pretty sweet so far. Bing, bing, ding, 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 ding. So I guess everyone here is a fan of the Scranton Strangler. The problem is I just don't know enough about the Scranton Strangler, you know? Like... Oof. Well, we do a combo. Mm. I'm going to keep it. Not great. Not not great, Bob. Not great, Bob. Oh, they're going to even they're going to even disc. Oh, wow. Well, see you later, Thiever. <laughs> Pretzel guy was pretty popular. I think he realized his wind gone was going to happen. Yeah, he's like brainstorming. You're like, oh, dang. Well, that's that, I guess. They're going to go black mana him to Torok. You ready? Oh, they didn't do it. I'm gonna get Tundra here. I think our odds of hitting another black, another uh, red source, that's pretty good. Oh, we can do that in Inquisition you next turn. Don't hate it. Are we gonna just keep up miscalc now? Nah, I'm just gonna do this. Wow. 
Lodestone land land bone shredder. Sure. Bone shredder is going to be obnoxious, but. Or a uh, lodestone golem. That's a weird choice. Okay. Okay. Mana crypt. Wow! Look what we did. Look what we did. That cost one. Does cost one. No, it doesn't. It's free because of lodestone. Yeah, never mind. That's great. You guys caught. Yeah, you guys are like, no, it's not artifacts. Okay, so we know you have. We know you're swamp and you have two other cards. I mean, next turn we can steal it and then Splinter Twin if we draw a red source. So that's pretty good. I knew you'd figure it out. I appreciate you, Super Fritz. I knew you'd have. I knew you'd always believe. Okay, there's that. Really? Oh wait, what? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't want to lose my one creature here because it's a it's a an extra turn basically. Hmm. And that's how you do the Scarn. We do need a red source. Do, do, do. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm. Or we could also threaten to trade here, which I think is actually fine. top deck a removal spell you gotta vindicate okay oh that's sad it's anguish done making god how nice just any any untapped land one time and don't let me die to my own mana crypt tells never fails Uh, don't like. Oh, for fuck's sake. So literally can't cast anything in my hand, so I block here. Yeah, alright, cool. Well, we got a turn, I guess. Wow. More like Poopa Cabra. You are right. And so smart. Really? What? Why wouldn't... What? Why wouldn't you attack with both here? That's weird you're anticipating me blocking here anyway otherwise i'm dead to mana crypt if it flips wrong okay oh god come on let's do heads this time fuck come on dude Now we're just now we're just on we're 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 dead men walking. God, fucking amazing draws, Jesus Christ! Plague Crafter into Chupacabra into Raven into fucking Anguish on Making must be nice. It's frustrating. I mean, only have like Dak Faden, Flame Slash, Council's Judgment. 
Spencer, Jace, Nahiri, like tons of cards that deal with that guy. What can you do? Oh, good. Two lands. Well, not keeping that. Yeah, we'll keep this ship Kozilek. Sounds actually very good. Keep Kozilek done. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> would love a, a land that comes into play on top next turn. That would be. Sure. Give me a land. Six drop. Sounds good. Yeah, this feels this feels about par for the course <laughs> so you know Jace the Mind Sculptor in hand they have no pressure we could have bounced that guy yep and now they just get to take the Jace so I'm sure we'll draw land next turn oh look they took Jace are you allowed to have soundboards? Yeah, why wouldn't you be? Seems good. I'm sure they'll hit a removal spell that's instant speed or a discard spell. Oh my fucking god. Ah. <sighs> Oh, God. Let's just assume they have Anguished on making, right? Because there's no way they're this terrible. There's just no way. So. And tap your manas. Cool. Triumph. <laughs> Okie dokie. Sounds good. Well, I need double red, so it's not super actually. Oh wait, I don't have to do both. I can just cast it like this. Cause he's not on the battlefield anymore, sure. You make me sack it? Oh yeah, make me sack this guy. You got it. 
Can we draw like Shatter Skull Smashing? That seems like it'd be great. Okie dokie. I am dead inside. Right, but DMCA, the software they use, isn't picking up movie quotes and things. They're picking up songs. So, like, I don't think they have a an algorithm to find, like, specific movie and show quotes. Yep, that's the game. All right, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Make sure to put some Fs in the chat for this bullshit last game. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the support.